Residents of Reno's Tent City sat in the parking lot guarding their possessions while Washoe County Sheriff's work crews completed a cleanup of the area where they live. The city hauled out four dump loads of trash and reorganized the area. The staff now plans to enforce rules that have been lax since spring. There are a couple of rule changes such as uh, the requirement that individuals meet with a case manager so that we can uh, try to help them get out of this situation, uh, help them set their goals, help them try to reach their goals, hopefully get a bunch of them into housing. Um, so that's, that's one of the biggest changes, I would say, out here. Among the other rules are a curfew, no drugs, no alcohol, no pets, and no violence. In a lot of ways, I think it's great. In some ways, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference because of the different ones that don't care and just really don't want to comply. And so they make it look bad for all the rest that do care. Cheryl has until November to find another home for her cat, Mamas. She says she rescued the kitten after someone threw her from a car. She's hoping her daughter-in-law will keep Mamas until she finds a way to get out of Tent City. My kitty, she, she means an awful lot to me. I'm diabetic and when I'm not feeling real good, she'll come wake me up or she's, all, she's very loving to me. And having to give her up is a very hard thing because she helps to keep me from going off on those that act stupid. For now, Cheryl says she is ready to obey the rules and is thankful the city is giving her a place to live until she gets Social Security for her disability. I'm hoping, I'm hoping beyond all hope that it'll be sooner than later. Cheryl says the residents here really need a donation of new tents, which will really clean the place up.